Hi guys, welcome to Adam Akola TV. This is another MUFC rumor rate the second in the brand new summer series. Hope everyone is doing well. We're well into the summer now. Plenty of rumors for us to get our teeth stuck into today. Got some big names in the world of football linked with Manchester United as well. And we will be covering all the lows in today's MUFC Rumorator. Make sure as well, if there's any rumors you want me to discuss in next week's episode, you get them in the comments below. Before we get stuck into our first rumor, make sure you download that one football app as well. The link is in the description below. You can get it for free on your Androids and on your Apples as well. You get transfer rumors, football news, latest scores, team news, all that good stuff, they got plenty of World Cup stuff on there as well. So make sure you're downloading that. But for now, let's get stuck into our rumor rating. And we're starting with Diago de la, the young Portuguese fullback who has been linked with Manchester United. Now he's only made eight first team appearances for Porto, having come into the first team this season in January. He only came in because of injury and they were hoping he was going to be around for a while but it looks like he's potentially leaving and Manchester United could be his next destination. He's been linked with Bayern Munich, Barcelona and Real Madrid as well. He's got a 20 million euro release clause. Predominantly plays at right back but can play left back too. Um, he did, he's done well at under 17, under 19 level for Portugal too. Highly rated and at 20 million euros it would be a snip. That's obviously due to his release clause but is this rumour true or not? Where is it emanating from? Well it's coming from absolutely everywhere isn't it? And it seemed to spring um, out of the blue. No one kind of saw it coming. It popped up. No one had linked us with the luck, but it, all of a sudden it seemed like we're about to sign him. It started with the Telegraph and then it moved on to the BBC, Sky Sports and everybody else were talking about Diago de la. So I've got to say, this one looks like it could happen. He's not signing a new contract at Porto. He's got a release clause. Manchester United seemingly interested with reliable sources. So I'd give this one a four out of five. Now I told you United were linked with some big names in the world of football and none much longer and bigger than this one I suppose because so many people want this one to happen. Is Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Now he's been linked with Manchester United by some reliable sources but those sources don't say a move's in the offing, it's about to happen, United have made a big bid. None of them say that even though you've got the other, you know, the Scotter papers and all that saying United have made 100 million pound bids and they want 150 million and all this sort of jazz. No reliable sources saying a bid has been made. What they're saying is they want big money for him and if Manchester United want him, they would have to pay big bucks. But United don't seem likely or want willing to spend big bucks on another central midfielder who they feel could be second choice to Paul Pogba. That's in the words from Di Marzio. So it's a very, very interesting one. Maybe United are playing hardball to get the fee lowered a little bit, knowing Milinkovic Savic could force a move for himself. But with the potential signing of Fred coming in, United obviously looking for another midfielder. Are they gonna spend over 100 million euros? I'm not too sure. I've rated this one a two out of five. Now United have been linked with a whole host of left backs and Alexandro of Juventus is one of them. He's not going to the World Cup with Brazil. So that means we have got kind of the whole summer to be able to get this one wrapped up. We've not got the, the problem of him traveling away with Brazil or anything like that. Now Alexandro has been linked with Manchester United. Apparently Juventus want a huge amount of money. You're looking 40, 50 million pounds for a fullback. The kind of figures that Manchester City were splashing out on Kyle Walker. Now Di Marzio, I think it's Fabrizio Romano who reported that no offer had yet been made by Manchester United, but the interest has been rumored by many, many people. So it seems like Jose Mourinho does want this chap but it could be one that we wait for again. Like I said, uh, he's not going to the World Cup, so this one could be a little bit later in the summer. But at this moment in time, I'm not thinking this one's definitely going to happen. But at the same time, I'm not thinking United aren't interested in this guy. I can't see it happening at all. So for that reason, I'm sitting on the fence and I'm going to go with a rumour rating of 3 out of 5. Now, after Real Madrid made it three European Cup wins on the spin, Cristiano Ronaldo winning his fifth 
European Cup. One of those obviously coming at United. Four of them at Real Madrid. He again put his future into doubt, saying that it could be his last, last bit of fun at Real Madrid, his last trophy at Real Madrid. He said he had a great time in Madrid, but who knows? You know, the usual stuff that we hear from Cristiano Ronaldo. As soon as he said that, you know, every journalist, every paper, everywhere went into their drafts and posted their Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United this summer story. You know, it. they've all got these stories ready to go and Cristiano Ronaldo coming out and saying that didn't really help things. Do I think Manchester United are going to get this chap? I absolutely do not. I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo is going to come back to Old Trafford now. I didn't think Paul Pogba was going to come back to Old Trafford. Stranger things have happened. And he ended up back at Old Trafford, do you know what I mean? So I was surprised by that one. But I don't think I'm going to be surprised by this one. I don't think I'm going to be surprised by Cristiano Ronaldo rocking back up at Old Trafford. And for that reason, I'm giving this one a 1 out of 5. Now, we're going to talk about outs for a little bit. Now, this chat popped up last week. And I gave him a 5 out of 5 for potentially leaving. Matteo... Damian. Now the two-toe sport are reporting that the deal is 95% done but they have said that for a while now, for about a week or two with Juventus in case you didn't know. Yes, Matteo Damian could be joining Juventus for around 15 million euros but what is being reported by Tuto Sport is that Juventus want to pay 10 million and then boost it up a little bit to 15 million. United want closer to 15 million euros. And for that reason at the moment, they're haggling over bonuses. But Tuto Sports say this one's 95% done. And I've got to say, I think this one is five out of five. I think Matteo Damian will end up at Juventus this summer. I think it's a great move for him. Decent move for United if we can recoup most or you know most of the fee that we pay for him as well. Um, it just hasn't worked for him at the club. And I think it's best for us to move on, replace him in the squad and of course let him go back to his home country. So Matteo Damian to Juventus, 5 out of 5. Now this one right here is a really, really interesting one. This chap was linked with Manchester United. An awful lot in the Moise era. His name is Thiago Alcantara. Now he's obviously went from Barcelona to Bayern Munich and he's been at Bayern Munich for a while winning a number of trophies. But there's been German reports this week that there could be major, major changes at Bayern Munich and Thiago Alcantara could be one of those players that makes way for those changes to happen. That has led to him being linked with clubs all over the place. Manchester United, Manchester City, Barcelona, Real Madrid, everyone's linked with Thiago Alcantara right about now. And it's obvious United's name's going to be linked into him. We do need a midfielder. If Bayern Munich want to sell, then it's possible that we could get him at a knockdown fee. But do I think this one's going to happen? I don't know. I think there's a lot more got to happen for United to sign Thiago Alcantara. And for that reason... It's only getting a 1 out of 5. Apologies to you guys, I absolutely want to see Thiago at Manchester United. Now finally, we're going to end with this one. Another player that after that Champions League final against Liverpool, threw his future into doubt. His name is Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale linked with Manchester United by absolutely everybody. The latest reports coming from ESPN saying that Manchester United are interested but they don't want to get involved in a transfer saga and if they want to make that signing happen, Real Madrid need to be showing Manchester United that is available because if not, United aren't getting involved. Now me personally, me personally, you, all, you also hear reports about Jose Mourinho saying to United, look, don't be spending all my budget on Gareth Bale. Great player and all that, but I need to get other areas sorted out. So it's obviously going to take an awful lot of money to Manchester United to get this signing done. We need a right winger as well. So I can totally understand United not wanting to get involved in a transfer saga. But do I think this one is going to happen? I'm sceptical. I'm really, really sceptical. Real Madrid have just let go Zinedine Zidane. Well, he's resigned. After winning three European Cups, he has resigned. Now, now Zidane's gone. Their new manager could say to Gareth Bale, yo, you're one of my main players. And Gareth Bale's going to say, all right then, i stay. So I don't think this one's going to happen. I'm sceptical. But I do know Ed Woodward would be all over it like a rash. And for that reason, it's getting a two out of five. 
Right then, there you have it guys. That has been this week's MUFC Rumorator. I told you there were loads of big names, didn't I? Milinkovic, Savic, Thiago Alcantara, Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bell. So many players linked with Manchester United and that's just a little bit of them. If you've seen any rumours that you want me to rate, get them in the comments below. Make sure you're keeping it locked to Adam McCola TV as well. We've just recently hit 50,000 subscribers and I really do appreciate every single one of you. But if you haven't subscribed, then hit that subscribe button right now. Download that one football app and keep it locked because we'll have loads more MUFC transfer talk and MUFC rumorator coming your way. I'm Adam McCola. I'm out of here.